Hi, this is Ryan Neal from Neal's Saddlery and Harness Cowboy Sewing Machines, and we're going to be doing a demonstrational video on our CB4500 sewing machine. Our CB4500 sewing machine is our flagship sewing machine. It's the very, very best sewing machine that we sell for sewing heavy-duty leather, uh, saddlery, and holster uh, products. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just to demonstrate the machine, I'm going to go ahead and sew through two layers of approximately 10 to 12 ounce uh, saddle skirting leather. And you can see that we have a uh, electronic DC servo motor coupled to our uh, gear reducer drive unit. And what that does is it, it gives you the very, very best in terms of punching power, as well as the ability to regulate the speed of the machine. Uh, you can regulate the sewing speed of this machine from anywhere as low as 15 stitches a minute, all the way up to as high as approximately 200 to 250 stitches per minute. And we also have a self-regulating pedal, so the farther you push down on the pedal, the faster the machine goes. So you can see here, I'm just barely pushing on the pedal, and uh, you're seeing that the machine is sewing at a very, very slow rate of speed. Then as I continue to press farther and farther and farther down on the pedal, you'll see that the speed of the sewing machine can pick up. Okay, now I'm going to sew in reverse with the sewing machine so you can get an idea of what it looks like uh, for a reverse stitch. One of the hallmark features of the 4500 is its ability to match each reverse stitch, uh, stitch for stitch, hole for hole, so that uh, every, every hole matches. Your forward stitching and your reverse stitching look almost identical. So I'm going to show you a piece uh, that we had just sewn on this machine. You can see that the forward stitch and the reverse stitch match each, each uh, other perfectly. And you can see how tight, nice, and even the stitching is all the way around the project. Um, again, the, the triple feed mechanism on the CB4500 allows it to, to sew perfectly equal stitches, stitch after stitch. It allows it to climb over multiple layers of material. Um, the triple feed meaning that it has a compound feed um, design which would be composed of a uh, needle feed, a feed dog, and also a walking presser foot. And this is essentially four-wheel drive for your sewing machine. So now we're going to move on to um, the extreme level of capability for the 4500. And we're going to be sewing through four layers of approximately 12-ounce to 14-ounce saddle skirting leather. And of course, for those of you that have experience in the, in the leather field, you know that this is about as bad as it can get as far as any type of leather sewing application, saddle skirting leather being very, very difficult to sew to begin with. And we've got four layers of this very, very heavy saddle skirting leather. I'm just gonna increase my stitch length just a little bit. And so you can see now how perfect the stitching is through four layers, again, of approximately 12 to 14 ounce saddle skirting leather. The stitching on the back side of the leather is also very, very even as well. And if, you, if we were to take these four layers of leather and we were to try to bend them, you can see that this is basically, uh, the stitches are so tight that it's basically like a board, which is exactly what you're looking for when you're sewing heavy duty leather projects like this. So we've seen um, as heavy as what the machine is capable of sewing. So now I'm going to give you an idea about uh, how light the machine can go. And so I've made a quick adjustment to my thread tension since we are going to be sewing lighter weight material now. 
And you can see how easy it is to adjust the thread tensions when you go from something that's very, very heavy to something that's very, very light. You can see how easy it is and how quickly we're able to adjust the thread tensions on this machine. And so now we're going to go to something that's very, very light. This is uh, two layers of approximately four ounce uh, sofa leather uh, or upholstery grade leather. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this and you can get an idea about uh, how the machine will perform on lightweight materials. And so again, what we have here are two layers of approximately four ounce upholstery weight leather. And again, you can see that the stitches are very, very even. Um, the knots are not pulled to the top of the material like what you do see a lot with some very, very heavyweight sewing machines when you're sewing through lightweight materials. And again, just to give you an idea of the thickness, you can see how, how thin this particular material is. So now um, I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the accessories and attachments that are available for the machine. So with each 4500 that we sell, uh, we um, include a material guide with this machine. And the material guide mounts to the right of the needle plate and it gives you the option to set, uh, for instance, a fence, just like what you would do on a table saw so you can sew perfectly equidistant edges around the, uh, the periphery of whatever it is that you're sewing. These work really, really nice with uh, holsters and knife sheaths. They also work very, very good with cup coasters. And they work good, for instance, on leather belts. Uh, so again, it's a it's a real advantage to have that type of uh, set, that type of system when you're trying to sew perfectly equidistant from the edge of something. In addition to that, we also have our left toe presser foot, and it works very very nice in conjunction with the material guide because the right toe, as you can see on the presser foot, is missing. So you can bring the material guide all the way into the extreme right hand side of the uh, center presser foot. And so that lets you uh, get into really, really tight places very, very easily. In addition to that, we also have the um, right toe presser foot, which mounts immediately to the, so the uh, outside toe mounts immediately to the right of the inside presser foot. And this works really, really well when you're sewing materials that are actually going to be on the inside of the arm, because then you can, put, you can butt the edge right up against the inside presser foot. In addition to that, we also have our piping, cording, welting foot. And if you look very, very closely, you'll be able to see that there's a groove cut in the bottom of the center foot, which works well for sewing piping, cording, and welting. In addition to that, we also have our fabric or padded material foot. And you can see on the bottom of the fabric padded material foot that there are teeth on the bottom of the presser foot. And this works good when you're sewing fabric, saddle fleece, or if you're sewing canvases. Uh, sometimes for nylon webbing, it works very well also. Uh, usually when you use the fabric or padded material foot, you'll generally want to use the toothed feed dog as well. And the toothed feed dog has teeth or serrations embedded into the surface of the feed dog. And so uh, it, it allows you to grip the material much better. We also have a full array of needle plates for the sewing machine, this being our flat slotted needle plate. And there are certain advantages for using the flat slotted needle plate when you're sewing, uh, particularly up against the edge of something. So the flat slotted needle plate mounts to, <clears throat> in the place of the needle plate that's on the machine. And so essentially uh, you remove the needle plate as well as the feed dog on the machine and the flat slotted needle plate mounts in its place. In addition to that, we have the stirrup needle plate which works good for sewing leather covered stirrups. And finally, we have our holster needle plate, which works very, very well if you're uh, doing knife sheaths and gun holsters. And the last attachment that we have for this sewing machine is our flatbed tabletop attachment. And you can see that this is a high quality plywood top with a laminate over top of it, rubber edge the entire way around the flatbed top so you don't have to worry about cutting up corners or nicking corners when you're installing it on the machine. And basically the flatbed tabletop attachment mounts over the arm of the sewing machine and it renders it into a flatbed. So, or at least as close as, a, as you can get to a flatbed with a cylinder arm sewing machine. 
And this is ideal if you're doing things like chaps or chinks or if you're doing uh, certain applications with large saddle skirts. Also, if you're doing horse blankets, having the flatbed tabletop attachment is a major advantage. So uh, this is a, a brief introductory video to our CB4500 series sewing machines showcasing some of the features as well as the attachments that are available. If you have any additional questions or you would like to purchase a machine, please feel free to contact me, Ryan Neal, at Cowboy Sewing Machines or contact one of our sewing machine dealers. Again, this is Ryan Neal from Cowboy Sewing Machines, Neal's Saddlery and Harness, and I thank you for your time today.